Hey guys, welcome to Peaceful Warrior Life. My name is Ashley. These are the episodes of Backyard Yoga. In this practice, we will become, we will become superheroes as we learn that grounding down can actually help us lift up ourselves and others. So, hop on your mat and let's get started. All right, so we'll come to the center of our mats. Nice and tall, our shoulders are back and down. Palms are going to be face up or down, whichever you prefer. We'll breathe into our bellies, deep in this belly area. calming our minds, bring our thoughts inwards, and letting the day thus far go. And very gently taking this right hand, we're going to place it on the earth beside us. Left hand is going to swoop up and over, reaching towards the left. You can find stillness here, or movement, a bounce, if you'd like. Totally up to you. Bring this left hand up and over, really reaching, reaching towards the earth. Right hand follows stretching again or finding that stillness and it may be different on this side our sides are different listening to what feels good for you Our head up and over again as the helicopter goes over. <laughs> Palm comes to the earth, left hand stretches over, bounce, or still. Your choice. <laughs> and then once more, lifting up and over, we go. Finding that bounce or that stillness. <laughs> and then right hand comes all the way down to the earth. Finding the earth. Palms, let's put them right here on our uh, thighs or your knees. We're gonna start some opening, heart opening circles. So we're leaning forward with our heart forward, breathing. And then inward and then exhaling as we come around, surely pushing that belly button in. Breathing out inward, inhaling, and then exhaling as we come around. You can make noise if you want to. You don't have to. <laughs> When you're ready, you can change directions. We're opening up that heart space. Finding that movement. Trying as best we can to leave our bottoms grounded as we rotate. Our heart space is open. It's not easy. <laughs> Again, dropping into the breath. <clears throat> and feeling What's best for you? And then once you're satisfied, come all the way back to center. And squiggle, wiggle those shoulders up and around. We'll reach those hands up behind our ears and really stretch them up to the sky. 
Just a moment of play, reaching, reaching, climbing the tree. Stretching it out, feeling the space in your side body. Open it up right here. Ooh. As the energy moves up and down your spine. With a deep inhale, reaching both fingertips toward the sky. And then raining them down our sides. Ooh. Fingertips kissing. We'll move around to our knees. Our knees are going to be underneath our hips. Can starfish, nice and hot, underneath our shoulders. <laughs> then we'll drop our belly. After we find a nice tabletop position, we'll drop our bellies down, carve a line, look forward with that nose. Deep inhale as we find cow pose, and then Blow it all out as you find that sweet kitty cat. And then again, inhaling and looking forward for cow. Really clawing into the earth, feeling that grounding with the fingers. Shoo! And blowing that cat. Woo! With your kitty cat. And again, dropping the belly, looking forward. Shoo! Carving a line with the nose, looking inward. And then you can stay right on this cat-cow path for just a few minutes. Or if you'd like to, just kind of move about, find what might feel good for you. You might want to keep your head yes and no, move your hands and directions. Move around and about. Whew. And then once you're satisfied, we'll come back to the tabletop position. Come back to center. Really clawing those fingertips into the earth, feeling that grounding. And then we'll take this their hip. We'll bump the left hip out, looking over our right shoulder. Coming back to center, bumping that right hip out and looking over the left shoulder. Back to center. Put a little fire in those toes, lifting those knees, hovering as we go. And we're here for five, four, three, two, and one. Knees finding the earth, sending that booty on back to the back edge of the mat, stretching those hands out nice and long. Velasana, child's pose, reaching towards the front edge of the mat. So while this is a very relaxing pose, it's also very engaging. And if your head doesn't come close to the earth, no, no, no problem. Find what feels best for you. Hmm. You like give your head a little massage, your forehead. Breathing in deep. And now. And then really clawing those fingertips into the earth. We'll pull forward with our nose. We'll walk our hands out just a little bit. So they're kind of in, let's walk them out. Put a little fire back in those toes and pull that booty up and back as our bottom comes to the back edge of the mat for our first down dog of the day. And we as we pedal, pedal it out. Take that little dog for a walk. <laughs> Pedaling it out. Shaking our heads yes and no. And then walking up with our right foot and our left foot. Right and left. We'll come to the very tip top of our mat. Finding ourselves in this forward fold. And bending those knees as generously as we want. We don't have to straighten them at all. No one says that. Putting our heads hang down. We can shake them again. Yes and no. If you'd like to grab your elbows. 
opposite hands and elbows to feel that stretch and breathe. Whew. And drop those. If you have grabbed your elbows, go ahead and let your hands lightly fall to the earth. Really think about planting, grounding those feet, these sweet feet, into the earth as we lift all the way up, rolling ever so slowly all the way. And our fingertips will come and lightly kiss Woo, overhead, raining them down by our sides. What a nice inhale again. Lifting up towards the sky, taking this right hand and flipping it up towards the sky. Left hand pushes it up, right hip pops out, pulls ever so slightly, just bend toward the left for a little bit more. You can always look up underneath that right elbow. Ooh, feel again that stretch and then tie your side body now. Thinking about that grounding of the feet. Back to center very slowly. Hands float down by our sides. A deep inhale, they come back up overhead, stretching left palm, flipping up towards the sky, right palm, helping it flip, sending that left hip out, and then very gently bending towards the left. For a bit more, you can always look up underneath that left shoulder. Mm. Again, feeling that grounding in the feet. On a deep inhale, we'll come back up. Fingertips reach, reach, reach overhead. Come down by the side. Wiggle, wiggle. Put your shoulders back. Wiggle, wiggle. Have a little fun. <laughs> and then stepping back with this right foot, we're going to open up into our plie and get that blood going. So feet are really grounded, knees, that external rotation with the hips. Hands are going to go out nice and long by our sides. And then we'll start this very slowly up, up, up. Everything reaches up and down. And we'll just. Go for here. Here again, several different options. So if this is good for you and you're like, yep, I want to be here, absolutely go, go for it. If you're like, man, I just want to do my arms. Do your arms. <laughs> and maybe you just want to do your legs. Do your legs. Maybe we just want to do everything. <laughs> Life flowing. Get everything moving. <laughs> Keep in our balance. And then when you're ready, we'll hinge at the hips, scoop that energy up off the hurt earth, toss it up in the air, and then swoop back. So really hinging at the hips to protect those knees. You can go as fast or as slow as you want. Making sure those feet are grounded. Good job. And then if you want to mix it up, you can always mix it up. So we can add our sunflowers and our moonflowers. You can do one of each, or you can do two of each. Or you can do whatever you want to do. <laughs> Engaging that core, thinking about that grounding position as we send energy up and down our spine and our body. Energy begets energy. We'll do three more of these wherever you are and whatever you are doing.
and all calm to a nice plie. Plie squat. <laughs> oh, couldn't do that. Hands really reaching out by our sides. Lots of energy in those fingers. A bend in those knees, dropping that booty down. Taking these hands, right here on our hips. Right shoulder comes in, looking over our left. Breathing. Feeling those feet as they are grounding. Coming back to center. The left shoulder comes in, looking over our right. Back to center, sitting up, shoulders back and down, hands right here, right by our sides, and then lifting, lifting, lifting so slowly up, coming all the way up to the sky, fingertips raining down by our sides, let's go a little bit shoulders up, to a little, good little find and what feels good. And then taking those feet and really grounding them into the earth, take this right hand and just send it up towards the left. Left hand up towards the right. And you can move your feet about if you like. Have a little dance part. <laughs> and then we'll reach way out in front of us. In the middle. Cross the body. Still getting the blood flowing, putting a smile on the face. Little spoon in our heart. And then we'll reach all the way down to the ground. If you just want to swing those arms. Woo! You can go fast or slow. We'll knock on heaven's door a little bit. Look at this is called. <laughs> Moment of play. It's hard not to smile when you're doing this. <laughs> and then we'll come back to center. And we'll come all the way back. Hopefully with a big old smile on your face. <laughs> we'll do three more of these. And then find that stillness, find that grounding. Fingertips come way up, they come way down. All the way. Taking that right foot, turning it in, that left foot, and turning it out, hip popping it back up to the top of the mat. So our hands are going to start right here by our thighs. Shoulders are back and down. Palms facing out. Lots of energy in those fingertips. Thinking about those four corners of the feet, really planting them, grounding them into the earth. Inhaling, opening up this chest body so there is a lifting, lifting in the front and a grounding in the back. Really thinking about those feet and how they are connecting and grounding. And how it's so important to be grounded so that we can lift. Think about that. <laughs> Fingertips reach down to come all the way up. They kiss overhead. We'll bring them down by our sides, palms finding the earth. Stepping back with our right foot and our left foot in plank pose. We're here for three, two. Here you can take your vinyasa or you can go straight to down dog. We'll meet in downward facing dog, pedaling it up. Woo! 
we'll walk forward with our left foot and our right foot and our left and our right, lifting up, feeling that connection with the earth all the way up we go. Fingertips coming, kiss overhead to again rain and down by our sides, palms finding the earth, planting, grounding those palms on the earth, stepping back with the left foot and the right foot, plank pose here for three, two, taking your vinyasa or going straight to down dog. We'll meet in down dog. Head away, get out. Breathe. <laughs> Walking forward with your right foot and your left foot, right and left, feeling that grounding position, rolling up hands right here on our thighs arms like little bitty grasshoppers, head sticking way out toward the edge of the mat, belly button really pulled in, lifting through our belly button, grounding through our legs. On a deep inhale, we'll roll forward into our forward fold, exhaling it out, and then lifting everything up. Ooh, fingertips come and kiss overhead to rain them down by our sides. Go so wiggle those shoulders out. Stepping back with our right foot. So really reaching back, knowing the earth is there. Good job. We didn't even have to lift. We're going to put that right foot on a, a 45 degree angle. Left knee is over left ankle. Coming into this warrior one position. So hands can be right here, Anjali Mudra at the heart. Shoulders are back and down. This is where we are strong for ourselves. We must be strong for ourselves so that we can be strong for others. Our feet are grounding and we're really ripping that mat apart. It's not a very yoga thing to say, but <laughs> you are. Rip the mat apart <laughs> with your feet. Opening up into that warrior two, where we are strong for others. Again, our feet, if you need to adjust them, you can. If you feel like you, you need to, but you don't have to. Left knee is still over our left ankle. Fingertips really have a lot of energy in them. Sending the love to somebody you know, looking out over that front hand. Hip points are turned toward the edge of the mat. Going through all of our little checkpoints here. Shoulders back and down. Reaching forward with our left palm to come up and over into a peaceful warrior. So again, everything is lifting. We're lifting from the pelvic floor and from this core, but grounding through our legs. We find our grounding so that we can lift up. We're coming forward again, moving both hands out. We're going to take this left hand and just gently place it on this left thigh. Right hand is going to come up and over, really arching, stretching towards the left, lifting again this core belly, this core body. Looking underneath this arm. If you'd like a bit more, you can always drop this left hand down to the earth and open up into this side angle. And then a bit more, you can always reach around and take the around and take the vine. Totally up to you. If you are in the bind, go ahead and come out. If you are in the side angle, go ahead and raise on up, rise on up, raise on up. And then we'll all come all the way up to our warrior two. Hands really reaching out, nice and long. Reaching forward again, four and back, 
Marquise or William. Cartwheel it all the way down to the ground. Palms finding the earth, taking this right foot, turning it inwards and walking it in just a bit. We're gonna straighten this front leg as much as we can. If you're like, yeah, that's not gonna happen. No worries. Do it as much as you can. And then bringing this head, this nose to the knee. And breathing, feeling that stretch in the back. Again, feeling the grounding of the feet into the earth. And your core should be engaged if you think about it. Your core should be lift, still lifting. And then putting a little bend in those knees, taking this right foot and walking it forward, finding that luxurious forward fold putting as much bend in those knees as you want you can have a moment of play here mm -hmm. and then we're lifting up lifting up hands right here on the thighs little grasshopper arms pull it in that belly button sending that head out to the front edge of the neck hands lay behind us like we're flying into uh, airplane arms. Have a superhero shirt on today, so shout out to all the superheroes, which right now is everybody, especially parents <laughs> who are dealing with so much and nurses and doctors. Wow. And we're here for three, two, one. Rolling forward. You can let it all go, letting it all go, shaking your heads, yes, and no. On a nice deep inhale, we'll come all the way up, grounding those feet into the earth, using that core to lift us up. Two fingertips coming back down. Swiggle, wiggle in those shoulders. Swiggle, wiggle in those shoulders. Our left hand comes out strong beside us. Our right hand comes out strong beside us. Shoulders back and down, reestablishing that mountain, that tadasana. So feeling a lifting in the front and grounding in the back. Hips come down to come all the way up to kiss overhead, raining them down by our side. Stepping back with our left foot this time, knowing the ground is there, knowing the earth is there. Pivoting on our left foot, so it's at a 45 degree angle. Right knee is over right ankle, splitting them out apart, and then our hands are right here, Anjali Rudra. So we're lifting, really think about that lifting, think about that grounding. And breathing, so lots of things to think about. <laughs> Ripping, lifting, grounding, breathing. <laughs> Strong for ourselves so that we can be strong for others. So opening up into this warrior two, our fingertips really shoot out. Passion and energy. Our feet rip them out apart. Hit points, whoop, turning them toward the edge of the mat. Gazing out over those front fingertips. Here we can be strong for others. We can be superheroes for others. And breathing. Reaching 
forward with that front hand, bring it up and back, peaceful warrior. Right forearm comes to right thigh. Left hand swoops up and over, really reaching towards the left. All right. If you'd like a bit more, dropping this right hand down and opening up. A bit more, you can always reach around and take the bind. So the right hand comes, grabbing the left, and then opening it up. Feet are still grounding and planted. If you're in the bind, you can come on out if you want. right palm is toward the air, pick it back up and place it on the right whoop, side. And then we'll come back out of it, up and gaze toward our right fingertips. Warrior two, we're still strong. You're shaking a little bit, woohoo, good. Keep going through our checkpoints. One more time, the right hand comes up, Cartwheeling it all the way down. Fingertips, our palms, whole palms come to the earth, spinning that left leg around, walking that left leg about halfway in, straightening that right leg as much as we can. Can't, don't worry about it. And bringing this head to your knee as much as you can. Listening to what feels good for you. and breathing. Hmm. And putting a little bend in both knees, walking this left foot up to meet the right. We'll come into that forward fold, luxuriating in that forward fold, bending those knees, shaking your heads yes and no. Hmm. Lifting up into this halfway lift, hands right here on our thighs, arms, by our, like little grasshoppers, belly button, pulling that belly button in. Whew, and then let's fly, sticking those hands out behind us, airplane arms. So we have a grounding going on and a lifting going on. And we're breathing. And then dropping our noses and our heads forward, shoo, all the way down, fingertips, then rise up. Planting those feet, they come all the way up to kiss overhead and rain them down by our sides. Big look at those shoulders. All right, stepping back with our right foot, we're going to open up and just turn our feet just a little bit in. So our toes are just going to come a little bit in. Hands right here on our hips. Superhero! We're superheroes. <laughs> So, feeling that grounding of your feet, that lifting of your upper body. Putting a little bitty bend in those knees. We'll take our noses and just part a line, looking forward, looking forward, looking down. Halfway we go, just like we've been doing, pulling that belly button in. 
and then coming back up. Good job engaging that core. And then again, nose goes down. Pulling that belly button in. <laughs> and then again, coming back up again. Good job. And then once more, going down, down. And then coming back up, using that core to lift us, little movements. And this time, we're gonna send our nose down. If you want a bit more, if you want to stay there, or you want to stay in superhero, absolutely do so. But I'm gonna guide my nose on down and my head on down, dropping my hands. So my hands are gonna to come to the earth. My right hand is gonna come under my nose. My left hand is going to lift up. So we're lifting up and looking towards our left. And we're breathing. So we're still really grounding through our feet. We have a little bend in our knees, not blocking them. And then we'll reverse. So left hand comes down to be under our nose. Right hand peels up like we're pulling a bow and arrow, looking towards our right. Rounding those feet. Right hand comes all the way down. Planting those palms, putting a little bend in those knees. We'll lift back up. Hands come back to our hips, pulling in that belly button. And then we'll lift on up to our superhero. Pretend like we got a cape on. Put those shoulders back and down. And smile. <laughs> superhero pose. Feeling the grounding and the lifting. Taking those feet and let's walk in them in together. Hip hop them in, hip toe, heel to toe, come all the way together. Taking those hands, putting them down by our sides. Dasana, mountain shoulders back and down. Again, feeling the earth and feeling the lift. Squeeze the wiggle those shoulders in. Squeeze the wiggle. We'll come back to the top, top of our mats, really planting our feet in. We'll try one fun, you know, not really fancy, but kind of fancy. So, planting those feet. Uh, this is warrior three. So, this is our balancing pose. <laughs> if you'd like to try uh, a couple of different ways to get into it, we'll take it, taking our right foot, lifting it up, and just holding onto it. So, if you want to be here, and you're just like, okay, I just want to work on balance. Absolutely right here. So everything is lifting. That left foot is really planted into the earth. So if you think about that being your guide and really push into that ball joint of the foot, that'll help you with your balance. If you're like, okay, I want a bit more, you can let your leg go, sending your right leg on back arms can go out behind you there's a lifting from your core and if you fall we'll catch it <laughs> so hands can be here or here grounding down and lifting up just like a superhero has to be grounded to be lifted and to lift others. At least I think so. And isn't that true in everyday life? We so need to be grounded in order to find that lift. And if you're like, just shut up and get us out of this pose. So bring everything back in. <laughs> so bring everything back in. 
capturing that meat again, gently placing it on the earth, and squiggle wiggling it out. <laughs> okay, and planting those feet into the earth again. Same thing, other side. So, right foot presses into the ground. Left knee comes up. It's just gonna be different. Both sides are different. And if you're like, yeah, this is my edge today. This is where I need to be. Stay right here. If you are like, you know, I want a bit more, go ahead and take that leg and send it behind. Feeling it out. Palms can go out behind you, engaging that core. And if you're like, I need a chair to hold on to, get a chair to hold on to. If you're like, I gotta fall, fall. It's okay, we'll catch you. Grounding in to lift. Bringing everything back up and in. Woo! There we go. Nobody's perfect. <laughs> so if you're like, man, I got that. I'm so proud of you. <laughs> so squiggle, wiggle, squiggle, wiggle it out. Squiggle, wiggle, squiggle, wiggle it out. And then we'll come to um, the back to the front of our mats. You can put your feet as wide as a yoga mat so your toes can splay off. If you want, we're just going to drop our booties on down. Coming down to the ground into a little squat. And if you're like, Psh yeah, that's not for me. Don't, don't worry. No worries. <laughs> I'm just going to open up. If you want to take your palms and open up your knees a little bit wider, you can do that as well. Hands can be right here at the heart. If you're like, right here is good. If you want to move your feet closer and you're like, this squat kind of squat feels better. There are so many different, you can do that as well. Wherever you are, we'll come and we're going to sit back on our bottoms. And if you want to plop, as we like to say in our, in our yoga class, plop. Plopping is good. <laughs> it's a total yoga term. <laughs> so, so plopping. And then we'll take our legs and move them out in front of us, sitting up nice and tall. Good job. So hands are going to come up behind our ears, reaching all the way up, taking your fingertips and reaching them forwards. Belly comes to the top of your knees, knowing that you don't have to straighten your legs. You can put a bend in those knees. So whatever feels good for you. Hmm. And we're breathing. Engaging the core to lift up. Ooh, feeling that core work. Shoulders are going to come back and down. We're going to move all the way to our backs. So a couple of different ways you can get down. If you just want to roll over on your side and get down like that, you can. If you're like, no, nah, I feel like I want to play a little bit, you can always just kind of roll back and forward. Whatever way feels best for you. And once we get down to the ground, we'll put... Um, uh, bend in our knees, really plant those feet again into the earth. Palms come right behind those heels. So walk those heels a little bit in. Palms coming behind those heels. Snuggling those shoulders underneath. So snuggle, snuggle. Planting the palms and then lifting those hips. I'm going to do one bridge pose. Woo! Lifting those hips up towards the sky. Like you got a block between your knees or something that you're holding. So we're really pulling those thighs in. And we're here for three, two, and one. Very slowly sending those vertebrae down to the ground one at a time. Go 
Rachel's head. Baby is the last thing to touch the earth. Oh, nice. Taking this right foot and putting it over that left leg. We'll take both of our arms, reach through, and pull our left leg up. And from here, you can keep your left leg in this position, in this bent position, or if it feels better, you can always straighten it and lift to that twist. Play with that foot. You can point and stick, point flex it if you like. And maybe you're like, oh, I do both. Absolutely do both. side, threading the needle, putting that uh, left hand through, holding, pulling this uh, right leg towards you. Hopefully feeling a good stretch, that piriformis.
roll to one side or the other, whichever one you choose. In fetal position. And then very gently pushing up all the way up. We'll come back to the center of our mat into a crisscross applesauce or whatever feels good for you. Hands come all the way up overhead, really reaching. Palms gently touch together, bringing those fingers down, those thumbs down to the middle of our forehead. and our mouth, and our hearts. May we find a grounding during this time period in our lives so that we can then find a lifting and be the superheroes we know we can be to those who need us, and more importantly, to ourselves. And we whisper, Namaste.